Hello and welcome. In this video, we are going to learn how to build reusable UI components in Visual Builder applications with the help of fragments. In order to use fragments, we have to make sure we are in the latest runtime dependency. For the release, I am in the release 2201 and Visual Builder runtime version is also 2201 and Jet version is 11.0.7. If you are not in this version, you can click on this set custom version and point it to the latest version or else you can click on the upgrade button in my case you are seeing that you are running the latest release if not you will get the upgrade button over here now let's create the fragments click on this plus button over here and provide the name i am giving the get country by name fragment because I am going to consume this REST API which we are using in our other Visual Builder application sessions or the videos wherein we are passing the country name in the path parameter and getting the details for the country. So we will build a fragment which will display the details for the country in the tabular fashion wherein we will supply the name in the query parameter. Here the input for the fragment will be this country name. I will drop the table component over here and add, click on add data. Here we have to select the individual endpoint that is get country by name. I have created this service endpoint. I have already covered in detail video how to create or consume external REST APIs in our visual application. Please check out the video link is in card section. Click on next. So in the table I need the name of the country that is the common name, official name, population of the country, region, whether it is a UN number or not. I want the capital detail as well and the primary key is CCA3 that's it click on next for time being I will map this to null and click on finish. Now I will go to variables and create a variable to accept the country name from the page wherever this fragment is going to be embedded click on create. Now go to SDP click on mapped earlier we had mapped this to null. Now we will map this to var country name variable which we created. Click on save. Also mark this var country name as required. We are done with creating the fragment. Now we will switch over to the page and create a main page. Here I will first of all drop the grid container. Let me remove this as bar and flex. I want this to be grid. Now I will drop the form layout within this. After form layout, I will drop fragment container. In form layout, I, I want the input field wherein the user can enter the details for a country. Let me drop input text over here. Let me rename this to country name. Yeah, fine. Go over to here. Now click on this fragment container and select the container which we created. Here we have to pass the value whatever the user enters in this field. For that we are going to create a variable over here. Let me name this as var country name 1. Click on create. Now go over to the page designer. Click on this country name. Go over to data and drop it over here. So whenever the user enters the name, it will be stored in this variable and same we will pass as an input parameter for this. Yeah, we are done. Now we will test this application or preview the application. Click on this preview button. I will provide the name. I am providing Sweden. Yeah, we are getting the details for Sweden. If you scroll, we are getting the details. Let me give some other country name. We are getting the details. Suppose we want to embed this fragment in any other page, then how can we do that? We will learn that now. First of all, I will copy everything from here, go over to main and I will create one more page, create a new page, main start 02 page, click on create. Here I will create one variable, var country 
name 0 2 click on create now go to the page designer go to code view and copy paste everything go to designer now whenever the user enters the details over here we want this to be stored in this variable so i'm passing it over here and the same will be our input for the fragment in the page 2 as our default page is main start we want some navigation from page 1 to page 2 for that we will create one navigation button over here for time being i will drop a button on click of this button i want to navigate to another page for that i will drop page navigation over here with the navigate option i want to navigate to page so the page name is start to done let us preview this now we are getting the details for countries whatever we provide in the page one now let me go to page two by clicking on this button yeah we are in the page two now let us check whether it's working from here as well yeah we are getting the details what we get in page one in page two as well so like this we can make use of fragments and embed the common piece of ui or the code in multiple pages Please do like this video and subscribe our channel and thank you for joining us in this video.